In April 2020, Prime Minister James Marape refused to extend the expired mining lease of Barrick, citing environmental and social problems. This led to Barrick closing down the Pogera mine when gold prices hit an all-time high and mounted legal challenges against the Prime Minister's decision. However, in October 2020, after a meeting with Barrick CEO Mark Bristow, Marape announced that they have agreed in principle that Barrick will retain operatorship while PNG will take a major share of equity under the new arrangements. Landowners of the Pogera mine do not agree with the move and object to Barrick outright. You to take back PNG, you start about, start about Pogera so. No, don't turn back. No one turn it back. You make a decision, you start, stick with your decision. Barrick and Mibla object him outright. Now you know kiss him come back again. The landowners have also objected outright to a fact sheet the state is from the state negotiation team outlining the equity sharing of the project. The state negotiation team only isolated Mibla, you know, invited Mibla landowners, Losinda and Wandemna, finalizing uh, this is a negotiation. Mibla asked him, Prime Minister, long no can entertain him. What this will affect seat M total women because M illegal. They have called on the government to give the landowners 60% equity, as this will offset many of the legacy issues faced by the landowners. Now, last year, the Prime Minister himself and making a decision talk. Me by giving you 49%, he go longer, and by giving go longer, Barrick, Nigo Limited, now 51, and by retaining long. Let us in a provincial government. Now, Mibla Papa Grand, Mibla talk, Mibla like him 60%. A petition with signatories of landowners has been sent to the state negotiation team outlining their grievances. Cedric Pajole, TV1 News.